And hello, car lovers. Welcome to the CNC Auto Show. And I am Aaron Clements. I'm John Ryan. And we are both here to give you information on ways to make your car, truck, or SUV safer, to make it more dependable, and to make it last longer for less money and less hassle. Uh, we do that by taking telephone calls. That's right. We love to get your calls. Uh, and that number is 706-863-5800. If someone's mentioned to you that you may have a, a, a flush service that you might need or uh, you're wondering what a rattle might be or something that's going on with your car that you want to talk to us about, now is the opportunity to give us a call because I know a lot of times if you're talking to a service advisor, things are busy and uh, sometimes you may, it's easy to forget what you were asking about. Yeah. And so you uh, sometimes don't get to ask all the questions. And so here you get to call and ask with a good, and we'll give you a good unbiased opinion. Okay, so you can give us those calls Saturday mornings, 8.05 to 10 Eastern Time. Again, 706-863-5800. You can also watch this show live on Facebook, and that's at CNC Auto Show. You can watch past shows on YouTube, CNC Auto Show. And we always like to mention that if you're looking for a good auto repair facility, you can go to NapaAutoCare.com. You'll see a list of... Uh, Shops. Well, you go to the search engine first. Yep. Then you can go to a list of shops there and pick the one that you feel like would be right for you. I actually used that this week. I think I uh, told you that what Wednesday or something mm -hmm. that we uh, had a customer um, was looking to get some repair work done. They were moving out that way, and mm -hmm. we we did just that. Worked oh, out great. Beautiful. And uh, we had a customer uh, the other day also that had a problem, and they were in Tennessee, and they called and asked me what they might be able to do, and, and I mentioned to them about NapaAutoCare.com, and I even looked up some numbers for them yeah. and made a call to the other shop mm -hmm. and asked them if uh, if they would be able to take a look at this car, and they said they would love to, and we and from what I understand, the customer is all taken care of. All right. So that's NapaAutoCare.com. It's almost like having a friend everywhere that you go. Uh, we still need to crank, uh, crank this show up. Well, you got the keys. Uh, hold on here. You, you lost them. No, I got them. There you go. <clears throat> all right. Shows all cranked up. All right. During this show, we'll be talking about ATVs, boats, cars, new cars, old cars, whatever car question that you have, you give us a call and we would love to answer that question. We still have a tech tip quiz laying on the table. table yeah. <clears throat> and, and we always like to mention that tech tip quiz. And of course the winner will receive a prize package. And in that prize package, they'll get a uh, a coffee mug or a, a um, or a hat. They'll but the main thing in that prize package that they'll get would be the I Answer Detective Quiz golf shirt. That's what everybody comes for the when they coveted. Come. Yeah, and here is the question. And this is a replay tech tip quiz because no one got the answer before. Right. And so we would uh, we would love for somebody to call in with the answer. Susie drives a ninety one Miata. It was a beautiful Saturday afternoon. Top was down. Susie was on a three-hour road trip. All of a sudden, the speedometer went out. She then stopped at a public supermarket, went to the frozen food aisle, and bought a speedometer. How did she know to go to the frozen food aisle at Publix? <clears throat> so if you do know the answer to that tech tip quiz, you give us a call. Tough. And, and, and we'll do it. John Ryan, one of the things um, that we like to uh, talk about sometime is different things that will help people with their cars. And one of the things is is determining what type tire to right. put on their car. Yeah. And, uh, and what size tire. Yeah. Well, well it kind of depends on, like, what type of vehicle are we talking about. Well, just say an average car. Just say Miss Brown drives a. Oh, if it was, I would try and go by the guidelines of the placard inside the <coughs> the door uh, as far as mm -hmm. the size for sure, because that's kind of what the vehicle manufacturer mm -hmm. has designed the vehicle to operate with. Um, so that's the most important thing. But now brand, you know, it mm -hmm. is kind of up to the uh, consumer. Well you, well, you know, one thing that I do a lot of times, let's say the car's got the original tires on it, especially this is a real easy thing to do. Right. And let's say the car has 50 or 60,000 miles on it. And they say, well, the, I'm, I'm due for my first set of tires. Yeah. Well, I look at it and I say, well, this car has been 50 or 60,000 miles. That's right. It's due for its first set of tires. They just plain they clearly down. lasted 50,000. Many yeah. times I'll look at the all the details on that tire, the mm -hmm. The, the brand, the tire size, the load range, the speed right. rating, everything, 
and I may get one exactly like that. Yeah, I, I do the same. Uh, try at least, you know, use that as a minimum. Of course, if there's something that can exceed those uh, specifications for roughly the same price, obviously we would go with that. But that's a good mm-hmm. tip, you know. Yeah. If if say if they lasted twenty thousand miles, you might not do that. Yeah, and then and then sometime another thing that you might look at is uh, is let's say the car uh, has a has very few miles on it. Mm-hmm. A car that's driven very little, and it might have had twenty or thirty thousand miles on the car. Right. And the and you're changing the tires not because they're worn out. I, I wish I would have given <coughs> uh, given you this picture. I actually took a picture of a Cadillac we had that had thirty thousand miles on it. The tires had eight thirty seconds on there perfect as far as tread wear Mm -hmm. they were so dry rotted you could actually see the steel cords on the inside shoulder Mm -hmm. of the tire not because of wear not because of alignment wear or anything like that simply because they were dry rotted Mm -hmm. so bad that they were separating yeah i do have a tire like that you may not go back with the most expensive tire yeah exactly because evidently that vehicle is going to sit for a period of time yeah um, and, and I kind of urge people to do that with boats, obviously, too. A lot of people spend the most money on, you know, a nice set of boat tires, and then it sit more than it is on the road, and they dry rot. So mm-hmm. I wouldn't say buy the cheapest thing, but, you know, buy mm-hmm. something middle of the road uh, for vehicles that, you know, sit for a period of time. Yeah, and, of course, with a, with a boat tire, it's, it's just as important to make sure that you get one that's designed to uh, with a load rating the load for the boat that you'll be carrying. The most important thing, yeah, uh, for sure. With that. Absolutely. Yeah, and uh, and and with tires, uh, another um, another item that you want to look at is you want to make sure that you get the correct load rating on the tire and the mm-hmm. correct speed rating. Yes. A lot of times, people will look at a speed rating. It might say 150, 160 speed rated for right. that speed, and they say, "Well, I'm not going to be driving near that fast. I, I don't need that tire." Right. But the the vehicle is designed all around it having yeah the suspension's designed for that <clears throat> amount of grip on the road and that kind of thing. Another tip would be also the actual whether it be a passenger tire or a light truck tire. Um, say you have a two twenty five seventy five sixteen. Well, that tire is available in a passenger tire and a light truck tire. Mm-hmm. So that's very important. Also, simply because obviously you would not want a passenger tire on a three quarter mm-hmm. ton truck. So um, mm-hmm. making sure you're getting like you and vice versa. Yeah, uh, because you would have a very uncomfortable ride yeah and and, and no doubt that's true and and you know to be honest some people do put heavier duty tires like that because they might get seventy thousand miles but it's a horrible ride yeah (laughs) Uh, but it is you know it's an option i would i would never go the other way of course Mm -hmm. but it is an option but that's one of the reasons why it's uh, it, it's important to learn a little bit about tires. What does he? Uh, what does the uh, speed rating mean? But also, there's a uh, there's a reading that can give you a, an idea, a thread rating, mm-hmm. thread wear rating right. that can give you an idea of how long that tire will last. Mm-hmm. And what's good now is there's uh, so many different tires made. Yeah, uh, you can actually do a lot of shopping uh, on tires you can. now. You can. Uh, you can. You might find uh, four or five different brands may sell that same exact number that you have there. Right. And and then too the the kind of neat thing a lot of the the manufacturer sites have uh, comparisons as far as you know maybe you have two tires very similar but they'll tell you mm-hmm. the difference between the two. Yeah. So. Most tire stores and and most people that sell tires will be able to evaluate and look at and compare uh three or four or five different brands yeah. in in minutes mm-hmm. and give you an idea of what tire is best for your car right uh, so tires is a, a very important thing and i think it, it might be a good idea also to mention just a little bit about when a tire can be repaired oh absolutely uh, yeah. let's say a nail is in a tire right and it is um and it's sort of in the center a yeah. long time ago what would people do they'd stick a plug a rope plug in it that's <clears> correct yeah, yeah. And that's something obviously you can do on the side of the road or mm-hmm. with the tire still on the vehicle, mm-hmm. um, but that has changed uh, drastically. And I think that's been a good thing because now uh, there's been a lot of tires that we have taken off the rim to mm-hmm. repair from the inside. Right. And when we get it off, we find out that the car was run with low tire pressure. Well, and yeah, exactly. It's and that, destroyed on the inside. That and too, I mean, everybody's having a rope plug that has leaked. Not uh-huh. many people have had a patch that's leaked. So. Right. Absolutely. Uh, time for okay. a break, Aaron. Yeah, this time take a break, and we will come back with more information on the CNC Automotive Show right after this break. 